Moving on, we turn to the property market. September and October are typically the peak season, yet you wouldn't know that from the land sales. Across 133 cities nationwide, the transaction volume sold during October decreased 40% from the previous month. The year-on-year -year decline was almost just as high at 37%. Now, if you take a look at this chart, you can see that the land transactions in terms of square feet have declined in almost all of the main cities. Chongqing here dropped by as much as two-thirds, and although Beijing, which is on the end over there, didn't see quite as drastic of a drop, its prices did decrease by 57 percent. Fewer developers are now buying land as property restrictions and tightening monetary policies have scared them all away. Local governments have also had to delay or cancel their land for sale. If you take a look at the screen, you'll see that nine out of the ten cities with the hottest property markets have had no new residential land sold by the government. Several of these cities haven't had any transactions made within the past one month. Now, since May of this year, 14 state-owned enterprises not in the real estate industry have left the property sector. Some insiders are predicting this number to rise to 20 before the end of this year. As more SOEs exit the industry, prices should start to go down even more. However, the government must carefully control the deflation seen in the market so as to prevent a crash. Some economists say that as much as one quarter of the economy in China revolves around the housing market and its related investment. Deflating the market slowly and not having the bubble burst is especially important to the current administration, which wants to preserve its legacy before handing off power next year.